Am I hearing you cry? We are looking for enjoyment in things, in people, in, uh, in, in, in realizing our goals. But the Word of God is telling us that you will find enjoyment in the things that we are pushing away from our lives. Take note. Dear brothers and sisters, when your troubles, when troubles of any kind come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. My God. Why? For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. Ah, so it is a process, it is a flow chart. So when troubles come, ang ibig sabihin, we are being tested in our what? In our faith. And so when our faith is being tested, ano nangyari? Our endurance has a chance to what? To grow. So let it grow. For when, your, for when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. Let me let me picture that this way. Para ang hirap lulukin. <laughs> ang hirap tanggapin. Na nasa problema yung enjoyment. Nasa pagsubok yung kaligayahan. The point here is this. Look at me. Ang tingin natin sa enjoyment o happiness sa buhay is pag narating natin yung lugar na iyon. Pag narating natin yung pangarap na iyon. Pag nakuha natin yung idinadasal natin na iyon. Ang tingin natin yung happiness nandoon. It's not there. The happiness is in the climb, in the process of going there. Nasa journey pa lang tayo, papunta doon sa ating pangarap, you will already, and you can already find your happiness. That's what the Word of God is telling us. It is in the climb. That is why, brothers and sisters, if you discover that God is the center of your life, hard times, even difficult times, okay, mabalik ako ha, if, pakibalit, if, if God is the center of our lives, troubling times, difficult times, can also be the best. Let me cite you some examples. In, in, in a show of Phil Donahue, one time, in a show of Phil Donahue, sa America, ang guest niya ay lahat ng mga celebrity wives. Yung mga celebrity wives na yan are all or were all divorced from their husbands. Okay? And they have different kinds of experiences. They have different lives, so to speak. They have different experiences in their troubles. No? But there was one thing common in all of them. And that thing that was common was, they said, all together, they said, when they were still down there, living normal lives, their life was okay. But when fame and money and influence started to pour into their family, their problems started to magnify and magnify and complicate their lives to a point that they could not bear with each other anymore and then they had to divorce their husbands. And mind you, sa totoo lang, Ang, sabi nga kanina eh, yung, yung ni, ni, ni Logan person, remember sabi niya, 
It is only the wise person who gets what he wants and is able to enjoy. Not all people who get what they want enjoy what they have. Remember Manny Pacquiao? Di ba? Nung umakit pa lang siya, nagkagawin sila na yung GK na yung sugal, babae, and everything. Kailan na umayos? When Manny started to, to become wise. Nung no, sinabi niya na parang masahog pa sa hayop, ang... Na, 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 na. When did he started becoming wise? When he had God at the center of his life. So when you have God at the center of your life, it is not it is not that you have to reach that point before you find your joy, but rather as you are rising, going upwards during that line, you already find your joy. Alam niyo po, let me share personally naman. Story naman yan. Let me let me share with you something na very uh, close to my heart. Noong araw, when we were struggling, we were struggling, uh, the kids were struggling, and you know, it came to a point when I left my job to, to, to work full-time in the ministry, and we, you know, sapat-sapat kami sa mga pangangailangan. There were, there were times na halos tapos, no? Bibili ako ng, bibili ako ng lutong ulam para sa hapunan namin. Limang pisong binubuan. Isang plastic. Limang pisong binubuan. Apat kaming kakanin. Dalawang bata, si Dina at saka ako. At nakita niya naman si Dina. At, I mean, nakita niya si Dina, matiisin niya. Matiisin niya. Seriously, kahit gusto kong sumandok, o kahit kami, kahit gusto namin sumandok ng mula, hindi mm -hmm. na meron. Maroon na yung mga bata. Pag may natira na doon sa plato ng mga itin, itin na lang. <laughs> eh, eh, I'm talking of real life experience here. Pag may natira ng itin, itin, doon ko na lang ipinakahan mo. <laughs> But look, those were struggling times. Those were very simple times when we were struggling to make it, uh, to make both ends meet. But going back, you know what? In exchange between then and now, pabalik ako yun. Why? Because we were together. Now everybody's independent. Our daughter can the one in, our two daughters who are now in Europe, you know, they, they can independently do whatever it is that they want. They can go to places they want. They, they can buy the things that they want, and so on and so forth. In as much as Dina and I, kami, wala, I mean, simple lang naman kami mamuhay, and uh, wala namang lavish kami mamuhay. So, yung basic na pangangailangan namin are all there. But the point is, it was, happier during those times when we were struggling because we were together in the time. Are you getting me? Yes. That's what I'm saying here. Hindi yung pagdating mo sa taas ng doon yung kaligayan. Ang enjoyment sa buhay is in the simple, in the simplicity of life and in fighting the tough battles of life. Because when you fight the tough battles of life, your family comes together as a team. Are you following me? Nasa naman tayo. Now, what has Solomon has to say about, remember our discussion is about being happy when? Now, huh? now, and not Okay? Now, ano ba ang sinasabi sa atin ni Solomon when it comes to to, uh, to being happy or to enjoying life? So, let's start. Ngayon pa lang tayo, start. Ngayon pa lang, sasalita si Solomon. 
First Solomon says, sabi niya, first is that we are given permission to enjoy life. Okay? Where do we see that? Chapter 11, the verse 7. Sabi niya, light is sweet. How pleasant to see a new day dawning. Ano ibig sabihin? Permission to enjoy life, light is sweet. Okay. This is actually symbolic light. The Lord is my light and my salvation. In scripture, time and again, God, the warmth of the love of God, has always been symbolized by light. So, ang sinasabi doon is that when God embraces us with His light, meaning when God embraces us with His love, then we are being taken care of by Him. It takes away the gloom in our lives. Are you following me? Meron tayo permission to enjoy life. Why? Because this God embraces you every day. This God extends His warm love to you every day. He takes care of you. He, 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 he is involved in your life. And if you are aware of that, and if you know that, then the gloom, the depression, the sadness, and the loneliness, if not altogether taken away, is minimized. Are you following me? Yes. Amen. Kaya nga po, sabi pa niya, no? to continue, in verse 8, sabi niya, when people live to be very old, let them rejoice in every day of life. And no doubt, when people live to be very old, let them what? Rejoice. When? Ano ba si ko pag tumatanda mo sumit? Kasi niya, may hindi ng ulo. Oh, kami dati, dati, nalaro kami ng tumong presyo eh. Yung, yung aming mga chinelas, no? pumasok doon sa bahay, yung isang bahay na matanda, masungit. Okay? <laughs> hindi na namin makukuha yan. Kanina, nagsimpa kami, no? Sabi naman si Patanda. Kapasok na si Bahan. Diba? Diba, diba? Ilang, ilang Patanda? Magigita mo na. Masaya. Which brings us to the second part of sa... Remember, ha? The first is that Solomon is telling us we're, we're given permission to enjoy life. Enjoy life, why? When? Knowing that you have a God who takes care of you. Correct? Sabi niya, at hindi lang yan. Second, when all the traditional limitations are removed. Ano yun, brother Vic? When all the traditional limitations are removed. Okay. Let me explain this. One traditional limitation. One traditional limitation is this. A lot of people are saying that our enjoyment now, ay para to be happy now, is only for the children, for the kids, for the young. Nung isang araw, dalakad kami sa condominium ng anak namin, nandahan kami sa swimming pool. No? Makikita mo ngayon sa amin, hindi ba walang pasok yung mga bata, swimming ng swimming, di ba? Amen? Amen. Nandun lumundag sila ng patalikot, nandun yung tumalo ng ganyan. Ah! Ang saya-saya nila. Wala ako nakitang matanda doon na tumundag ng patalikot. Wala. <laughs> 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 Sabi ko kay Pina, sabi ko naalala ko nung kabataan ko. Diba? Naalala ko nung mga bata pa tayo, tayo nagsiswimming. Diba? Pinapaaho na tayo. Ayaw pa. Kakain na, pipikiming pa kami. Diba? Marang, wala tayong kapakuran. Minsan, malamig na yung tubig kasi night swimming, diba? Yung mga, ang tali no? Yung labi, kulay itim na. <laughs> Pero ayaw pa 
Why the woman is not to make help? Yeah. That is why sometimes ano niyare is ah yung enjoyment ng buhay para sa mga bata lang yan. That is a limitation, a traditional limitation. Are you following me? Hey God, wala si Nabi din si Solomon. So why is God? Sabi niyo, people need to be very old. Let them be Jews in their living of life. Diba? Ako dito sa sasabi, lagi ko nakikita. Lagi mo dito. Parang lagi ko enjoy ng enjoy. Sister Lucy. Oo, oh, diba? Pag nakikita ko siya, Sister Lucy, diba? Wala kang moment na ikaw ay malungkot. Parang lagi kang masaya. Of course! <laughs> so, I, I know, hindi naman, hindi naman may pwede, wala naman tao yata na buhay na lahat ng oras niyo, masaya siya. Oh, pag may gano'n, may depression yun. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yung lahat naman, eh, 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 eh. But generally speaking, I do not see you as a lonely person. Oh, even when you have already a 20% discount. <laughs> Di ba? I mean, you know, tignan niyo yung katapin niyo. Tignan niyo yung katapin niyo. Ha? Wido pa. O, kasi merong iba, mas bata pa, mas siba magpamuka. Kaya si Sister Lucy sa babae, ang gais yung mga lamesa doon eh. Ano ba talagang nangyari? Ba't ikaw mga gais dito? Eh kasi, ano ba pwede na natin? Wala po. Ang pangarap niya. Tinanggal niyo ba yung takit? Baka na. Pati ba naman yung pinakailaman ko pa? Okay. The thing is, the thing is, That is one traditional limitation, pero sinasabi niyo po, hindi! Sa totoo nga lang, yung mga bata, mas mahirap eh. Why? Because being a teenager, you have to make a lot of adjustments. Remember when you were a teenager? Remember? Remember yesterday? Diba? Nung teenager pa tayo, ah, ang hirap ng buhay natin, bakit? Gusto natin maging malaya sa mga magulang natin, pero hindi pa naman natin kaya. We are caught between a hard place and a rock. Ika nga, so to speak. Diba? Diba, remember nung teenager pa tayo, kung gusto natin gawin yung gusto natin gawin. Pero hindi pa pwede, kasi yung mga magulang natin, kinakailangan answer about tayo sa kanila. Ama? Kasi hindi naman tayo fully dependent pa sa kanila. Or should I say, we're still fully dependent on them. Amen. That's why it's tough. Pero, ako naman, may aral ako rin na, When I was younger, during my younger days, sayo-sayo ko. Sumumurang nga sayo ko eh. Ano sabi din ni Solomon? No, but let them also remember the youth, ha? Let them also remember there will be many dark days. Everything still to come is meaningless. There are many dark days ahead. Kaya nga po, ang payo niya sa mga kabataan, Oh, habang na-enjoy pa ang buhay, enjoy! Oh, young people, it is wonderful to be young. Enjoy every minute of it. Do everything you want to do and take it all in. Young people, enjoy nyo na yan. Ano sabi? Get at it, enjoy. Because before you know it, you'll be at ang bilis ng panahon. Remember the, 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 the song from Fiddler on the Roof? Huh? Sunrise, sunset. Kasi sunrise lang eh. Kaya may sunset na. Dito, hindi na ako magtatalong ng bawat isa. Hindi naman sunset na. Pero hindi ko na kayo isa-isa yun. Pero let's face it. Hindi ba na hindi nyo ba naiisip? Ang bilis ng panahon that is so surprising you are already in this age. That's true! You know, I gave a talk last... Uh, when was this? Last Sunday I gave a talk. Yeah, last Sunday I gave a talk to a community and uh, the venue was at Christ Daki. Pagkatapos ko mag-talk, eh may mask na lang. Nag-mask na rin ako. Tinabihan ako ng isang... Hi, Brother Vic, do you remember me? Uh, sort of. 